Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can copy text to the clipboard using the clipboard API. So first of all, I'll show you how you can implement this for a single copy to clipboard button. And after that, I'll show you how to implement it for multiple buttons. So on the clipboard API, we're going to be using this method, write text to copy text to the clipboard. So as you can see, it's supported by all of the browsers listed here. The only catch is that for some browsers, a user has to interact with the page first before it is possible to copy something to the clipboard. So this is the browser protecting the user from unwanted copies to the clipboard without any kind of prior interaction. So the solution we have here is fine because a user has to click on a button. So this counts as page interaction and we can then use the clipboard API across all browsers. So for the markup, I'm keeping it deliberately simple for this example. Each one of those cards you saw is a div and inside each one of those is a paragraph and a button element. The paragraph element containing a HTML code for each of the emojis. So an emoji is just text that is recognized as an emoji by the browser. And then each of the buttons as a class of copy BTN. Now in JavaScript for the first example, I'm selecting the first one of those only by using the query selector and searching for the first element that has the class or copy button. So I'm going to add an event listener to the button, listening out for a click on it. And then in the second position, defining a function that will run when that event occurs. So the first thing you want to do in here is to get the text that you want to copy to the clipboard and we can get that relative to the button. So we know that the text that we want to copy is in a paragraph that is just above the button. So we can use a bit of DOM traversal here to get to that. So we can say button previous element sibling and we want to get the text inside of that element. So I'll store that in a new reference here. And now what I'm going to do is to send that text to a dedicated function, which I will define below for copying text to the clipboard. So the reason I'm doing this is because I can then call this function in other parts of my script, and it's not just nested here inside this event listener. So I'm passing the text into this function, and then I have it available to me as a parameter inside the function. And now I'm going to copy it to the clipboard by calling navigator, dot clipboard dot write text. So you pass in the text that you want to copy into this method. Now this code alone should already be copying the first emoji to the clipboard when the button is pressed. So if I click it, you notice nothing is coming up in the console and that's because we're not handling a success or error. But if I paste the result into the console here, then you see that it was successfully copied. Now let's add result handling to this example. So calling write text returns a promise object, which can resolve successfully or unsuccessfully. If it is successful, then the function that I'm defining here inside this then method is going to fire. And what I'm going to do in here is log to the console a message indicating that the copy was successful. So inside Factics here, I can use this special syntax to insert the value of a variable into the string and then I say that value was copied successfully. If there was an error, then the function inside the catch method that I'm now defining will run. So if it runs, then I want to log an error to the console and I'll say in there copy failed and I'll insert the error there in case there was one. So there's some diagnostic information about what has gone wrong. Now, if I try to copy to the clipboard, you see that I'm getting the success message printed to the console. So we now know that the copy was successful. And if you want to do something additional to logging a message to the console, then you can do so by simply extending what you're doing inside of this function. Now let's extend this solution because it only works for one of the buttons. It doesn't work for the other two yet. So the first change to be made in the code is to select all of the copy buttons 
in the markup. So we can do that by just using query selector all instead of query selector. And I'll change the reference name to be plural now. Now, what I was doing was adding an event listener to a single button here and then getting the text from the element above it and then sending that text to the clipboard. What I want to do now is to go through each of the buttons in the DOM, adding an event listener to each one and following the same process of getting the text and then sending it to the clipboard. So to do that, I'm going to call for each on buttons. So the function that you place inside for each, it runs as many times as there are buttons in the DOM and each time you have available the current button. Now, all I need to do here is to follow the same process as previously. So I'm going to just copy and paste the code into this for each function. So each button is having its own click event listener added to it. And then when a particular button is clicked, then the text from the previous element sibling, so that's the paragraph in each case, will be stored in text. And then that text will be passed to the copy to clipboard function. So now when I test this, you see that copying is working for all of the buttons. So as you can see, this is working successfully. But the final thing I want to show you is how you can make your code more modern by using async await syntax to handle the result using the write text function. So the first thing to do is to use the async keyword before the function. So this allows you to use the await keyword inside the function to await anything that returns a promise object. So as I mentioned, write text, it returns a promise object. So we're going to await the result of it and we have an error and a successful result here. So inside an async function is to try whatever it is we want to do inside a try block. So we want to await the result of write text. And if that was successful, then we're going to reach the next line. So await is just waiting for that to return. It's blocking anything else inside the function from running. So we log to the console immediately afterwards. If there is an error, then that console log will not be reached. Instead, the catch block will run. And inside there, we log our message and also the error. Now I'll delete the code that was inside this function earlier. So we've reduced some of the nesting. So there wasn't too much nesting going on there. But this solution will pay dividends if you do anything else inside this try block because you can then use a wait to avoid getting into the nesting of another then method. Generally, it's a good idea to have a solution for that in place before it becomes an issue. So I'll test it now. So you see that it's working just like before now with async await result handling. And so that is it for this tutorial on copying to the clipboard using the clipboard API. Hope you found this tutorial useful if you did please consider hitting the like button down below this video it helps with the algorithm and others to find this video and if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future don't forget you can subscribe to the channel